how to import video to iMovie. Welcome to Video Jug. I'm Stuart Headlam. Every Mac now comes with iLife, Apple's fantastic suite of coordinated multimedia programs. So, if you're going to start editing video on your Mac, it's likely your first port of call will be iMovie. Now, this guide is going to cover iMovie HD6, but up to date help and support on the other versions of iMovie can be found at www.apple.com forward slash support forward slash iMovie. Now, first things first, you're going to plug your DV cam into the Firewire port on your Mac. iMovie will automatically detect the camera and you should see a blue screen like this. Use these buttons to control the camera and define the footage you want. While the camera is playing, click the Import button once to begin recording the footage into iMovie and again when you're finished. The footage you've recorded will appear as a clip in the Clips palette. Now, don't worry about matching the parts of the video that you want exactly, as you'll be able to trim them to your requirements later on. Do try and stick to making lots of short clips, however, rather than a few long ones, as this will make the editing process more efficient later on. You can switch between Capture Mode and Edit Mode with this button here at any point if you want to check the footage you've imported. Make sure you have enough space on your hard disk. Now, the amount of room you need will depend on the size of your edit. However, as a rough guide, five minutes of footage takes up about a gigabyte worth of space. HD footage takes up two to four gigabytes per five minutes. It might be worth investing in an external Firewire or USB 2 drive if you're gonna be using iMovie a lot. If you're using any version of iMovie HD introduced in 2005, then you can also choose to create a magic iMovie. This option not only allows you to create an entire movie from all the footage on your DV tape, complete with transitions and a soundtrack from iTunes, but you can also use it to simply and automatically import footage from your camera. Simply rewind or fast forward the tape to the point where your desired footage begins, deselect the transition and soundtrack options and click create. Clips imported using Magic iMovie will appear in the timeline instead of the clips window. You can use the timeline to remove any footage you don't want and tidy up the clips you do. For more about using the timeline, watch the video jug clip How to Edit Video Using iMovie. You can also drag QuickTime.mov files and MPEG4.mp4 files into iMovie. Just bear in mind it might take a while to import them. You can also use the pictures in your iPhoto library as video clips. Select the Media button on the right-hand side of the screen and then the Photos button at the top. When you select a photo, you can set its position by dragging the image around and using the sliders to zoom in and define how long the photo is on screen for. You can also use a Ken Burns effect, which is named after an American documentary maker who was famous for the way he zoomed and panned around photos in his films. Use this switch to set how the picture will look at the start and end of the clip. You can change the position and zoom of the picture in the same way as before. When you're happy with both positions and the duration of your clip, click Apply and the finished effect will appear as a clip on your timeline. If you don't want it there, you can simply drag it into the clips window. Done.